for the entrance hymn let us all rise and take the hymn a65 i place my hand in your hand and joyously i walk along with you I walk along with you, O Lord. You call me friend, no longer slave, your loving self for me you gave, and all mankind you came to save, so I follow you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. For the times we have thought that rest can be found outside Jesus. Let us be sorry for all our wrong thinking, for all our weaknesses, our shortcomings, and together let us say, I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my, my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Joshua. In those days, the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And as for you, command the priest who bear the Ark of the Covenant, when you come to the brink of the waters of the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. And Joshua said to the people of Israel, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Here is how you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites. Behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth is passing over before you into the Jordan. And when the soles of the feet of the priest bearing the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of the Jordan. The waters of the Jordan shall be cut off from flowing, and the waters coming down from above shall stand in one heap. So when the people set out from their tents to pass over the Jordan with the priest bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people. And as soon as those bearing the Ark had come as far as the Jordan and the feet of the priest bearing the Ark were dipped in the brink of the water, now the Jordan overflows 
all its banks throughout the time of harvest. The waters coming down from above stood and rose up in a heap very far away at Adam, the city that is beside Zerithin, and those flowing down towards the Sea of the Araba, the Salt Sea, were completely cut off. And the people passed over opposite Jericho. Now the priest, bearing the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, stood firmly on dry ground in the midst of the Jordan. And all Israel was passing over on dry ground until all the nation finished passing over the Jordan. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your response be, Alleluia. Kindly repeat, Alleluia. When Israel came forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a foreign people, Judah became his temple. Israel became his domain. Your response, Alleluia. Alleluia. The sea beheld them and fled. The Jordan turned back on its course. The mountains leapt like rams, and the hills like yearling sheep. Your response, Alleluia. Alleluia. Why was it sea that you fled, that you turned back Jordan on your course? O mountains, that you leapt like rams, O hills like yearling sheep? Your response, Alleluia. Alleluia. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia to the Let your face shine forth on your servant and teach me your decrees. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Peter came up and said to Jesus, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy times seven. Therefore the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle, one was brought to him who owed him ten thousand talents. And since he could not pay, his master ordered him to be sold with his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. So the servant fell on his knees imploring him, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity of him, the master of that servant released him and forgave him the debt. But when that same servant went out, he found out of his fellow servant who owed him a hundred denarii. And seizing him, he began to choke him, saying, Pay what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. He refused and went and put him in prison until he should pay the debt. 
when his fellow servants saw what had taken place, they were greatly distressed, and they went and reported to their master all that had taken place. <coughs> then his master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you all that debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? And in anger his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay all his debt. So also my heavenly Father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Now when Jesus had finished his sayings, he went away from Galilee and entered the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, we have heard the Gospel on forgiveness. And when Peter came to Jesus, he asked him, how many times I need to forgive my brother? Seven times? Actually, Jews would forgive at least three times. Seven was something that was generous of Peter. But Jesus goes beyond my friend and he says, not 70 times, but more than that. What it means? That forgiveness should not be a calculated exercise, <clears throat> but it should come from our very personality, from our very life. And that is why you see the quality of God is God, our God is a forgiving God. Right from Genesis to the last book of the Bible, you will see the forgiveness is abound. It's everywhere in all the pages, in all the chapters, and in all the verses of the Bible, you will see forgiveness, the quality of God. And that is why you see, my dear friends, when Jesus was on the cross, of the seven statements that are recorded in the Bible, the first one comes from Jesus' mouth, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they are doing. So forgiveness is important in our spiritual life. No person can take a spiritual journey without having this quality of forgiveness. Maybe a priest, religious or lady. Forgiveness is important. And what is forgiveness? Somebody has given a beautiful example and analogy. Forgiveness, you know, when you don't forgive, unforgiveness is like an acid. You know how concentrated an acid can be. You pour somewhere and it burns. It destroys the thing that on it it is poured. So the person says uh, hatred, unforgiveness is like an acid. It makes more harm to the container it holds than to the other. So if you have not forgiven, you are like you know, having this acid, concentrated acid in your life. And it damages more yourself than the other. It might damage the other later, but it will damage the person it holds the acid. And that is why, my friend, let us ask, are we forgiving people? We might be generous people, good. We might be prayerful people, very good. But if we are not forgiving people, then we are having something amiss in our life. And that is why all the spiritual people, you see Blessed Rani Maria, her family forgive the person who stabbed their own sister. You see Graham Stain and children were burnt, torched in the car and Graham Stain's uh, wife and daughter forgive. So what it means, my friend, forgiving should be 
our nature a second nature like god is a forgiving god ask let us ask at this time whom we have to forgive and without forgiveness we cannot move forward there will be this acid always within us ready to burst and go out and destroy wherever we speak wherever we do anything so forgiveness is something all of us require and that is why jesus says it is not only seven times is enough but 70 times seven that means beyond calculation and god forgives us everything the beautiful sacrament of reconciliation is a gift from god showing god forgives us and in a similar way and in a similar way we need to forgive our brothers our sisters however difficult it may be if you really want to enjoy spiritual benefits of forgiveness we need to go beyond our ego we need to go beyond our little self and forgive our brothers our sisters who don't deserve forgiveness mercy is something people don't deserve yet we give so my dear friends it is difficult it is easy to preach but difficult to practice but we have to go beyond for our own good to get this inner peace in our life otherwise we will simply go around showing we are tough but the toughness will not help us it will not spell help us spiritually it will not help us physically because most of the diseases emerge because of unforgiveness maybe pressure diabetes spondylitis many and doctors emphasize on forgiveness the more you forgive the more you will be at ease with yourself and with the society with this thoughts let us ask god's help as jesus comes on the altar now he will help us to forgive everyone whom we have not yet forgiven amen for the offertory we shall take the hymn n24 i give my hands i give my hands to do your work and jesus lord i give them willingly i give my feet to go your feet and every step i shall take cheerfully oh the joy of the lord is my strength my strength oh the joy of the lord is my help my help for the power of his spirit is in my heart and the joy of the lord is my strength pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father May the, May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all holy, holy church. church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offering of your church. For in your mercy you have given them to be offered and by your power you transform them into the mystery of your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection, so as with the angels and all the saints, 
we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope philip neri our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen let us together now say the prayer that jesus himself has taught us our, our father, father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, our Savior, who invites us and helps us to forgive our enemies. As he enters into our hearts, he is healing us from all unforgiveness. Happy are those who are called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer by Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the communion we shall take the hymn D93 bind us together. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together. Thoughts that cannot be broken. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the masses ended. Thanks be to God. Recessional hymn we shall take. Thank you. X twenty six. Thank you, Lord, for all we've done. Things 
both great and small and for Jesus Christ your son thank you most of all you forgive us when we falter you bring healing when we sing you redeem 